Hey guys. Um, yeah, so I've been getting a few questions on how to make, on how I make uh, snow mountains. Um, yeah, it's, uh, oops. Um, basically, I just use uh, photo textures that I've collected myself and uh, made them into brushes so I can quickly, you know, get get a good, uh, get a good base to work on. So let me show you um, just quickly here if I'm going to make one. Yeah, so here's a basic uh, basic ground to work on. Um, so say for example this part here would be my mountain. I would actually first go into these... Yeah, excuse my huge brush pack. It's, uh, it's a collection of many brush packs that I've... Uh, I'm, I'm in the middle of organizing them and like 90% of these will disappear. You know, I get like... 40 brushes for for birds so <laughs> which I don't need um, but yeah so I've created these four here these snow mountains from actual pictures um, so yeah let's just try try one out okay. uh, let me first make these a bit better Yeah, this is actually my music in the background. I compose as well. Very fun stuff. So just quickly outlining. You now I'm blocking in. General snow. So yeah, now I have this thing here. I can just go to my snow mountains, these four, and just choose one that I like. So you see? Bam! Instantly. A nice looking mountain. Which I can now paint over and uh, sort of blend in. I mean, it's already blend blended in because, uh, yeah, I've, I've gotten good pictures from it. Um, and what I like to do is, you know, for these uh, protruding rocks here, uh, I like to do this. Like, say, say for example, I want some protruding rocks here from from the snow. I would use the lasso tool and um, just, you know, do this, sort of this. And let's get this in here. And then I would hide the selection. I start painting. Oh, where, where the hell is this? Yeah, here. And I can remove the selection. Um, so that's something that I like to do for th for this stuff right here. But yeah, so if if um, you know you can just use these in many different ways. I have four of them. Like it's instantly you know instant instant mountains pretty much. Yeah, like a huge mountain in the background there. Yeah, let's use this these outlines I've done here.
and you can also actually use the the mountain brushes on on this in the in the selection here so you know let's make it a bit brighter so you can actually see what the hell's going on something like that yeah I have to get this thing sorted out it takes like ages to work with you see so I have some good some good texture you know to to work on and uh, something that's very good uh, good thing to do when working with snow is you know not paint it too much like oh deselect too much like this because then it, it will be very grainy and uh, snow typically isn't grainy it's it's very it's very soft it's almost like silk you know it's super it has almost no grain so what I would do is I would select with the lasso so say, say here the snow goes down like that I would use very standard brushes like you know soft round and just you know, it, it gets like powder snow, and it's very beautiful. And get some shadows in there too. And then if I if I want some protruding rocks from this, you just add it in like that. And even some stuff here. See? Looks great. Uh, what else can I show you? Oh yeah, so how I do these is uh, is really you should try this yourself. So if I bring up some um, some fake picture here, uh, yeah. So say I want I want this one here. I like the texture on this thing here. Uh, you, it doesn't even have to be snow. I mean, it works nicely for snow because it's just you know black on white and it's, it's very stark contrast. But uh, you can also use this for you know regular rock. So if I want to use if I want to do a brush from this texture here, I'll just import it into Photoshop. I will play with the values. Actually, first let me just remove this piece here, like that. So say I want to use this piece here, that was cool. Some of this too, if I don't want too much. Like that. Now we can play around play around with the values. You you never really know what exactly your brushes your brush will be like, but yeah, don't try don't make too uh, the, um, the textures disappear too much, but at least enough so that it's a clear brush. So say, yeah, let's do this. I will, uh, okay, how the hell did you do this? I think it was somewhere in here. Uh, yeah, here, define brush preset. Okay, yes, no, it actually, it actually takes everything here. So let's do this. Um, the fine brush preset. Ah, desert rock. So now I should have this desert rock in here. Somewhere in my enormous brush bag here. 
You see? And you can use this inside the... Um, inside your paintings. You don't even have to make it, you know, that... Um, that obvious. You can just, you know, rotate it around and find a good place for it. Yeah, you get the point. Um, so yeah, that's how I'm, how I make my my mountains like this, the snow mountains, and just regular, you know, textures for them. It it works really fast, and you can paint this super quickly. And um, and yeah, so uh, if you have any questions, just you know, ask, and I'll be happy to answer. I'll upload the these four that I have, that I have already made, uh, and you can just try them out yourself. And see how you like this um, this technique. Okay, good. Bye.